When choosing a gaming mouse, the most important thing is to have a higher DPI, or not. There has been a lot of demand lately for the mouse that have a high DPI. For those who don't know, DPI is an abbreviation for the number of virtual dots per inch that mouse can detect. Most mice can detect from 800 to 1600 virtual points, but what about the mice that have over that number? The manufacturers figured out uh, that these virtual points could be software split into several. This is another reason why the maximum DPI is mostly divisible by 800. Splitting these virtual points has the disadvantage of inducing the background noise, which can greatly affect the performance and precision. This means that a mouse with a lower DPI can be equally accurate as one with high DPI. DPI is not a mark for precision or sensitivity, but a number that compares the movement of the mouse on the surface with the movement of the arrow on the screen. However, higher DPI has its advantages. For example, if you use a high resolution monitor or want to control the arrow with minimal mouse movement. There are also those people who think that it's better to set high DPI and reduce the sensitivity in the program. In the end, we came to the conclusion that this is just a matter of taste. Since most mice have adjustable DPI, play with the settings. Change the DPI of the mouse but also the sensitivity in the programs to get the ideal result. When buying a mouse, DPI should by no means be your main concern. Look for the mouse that will fit well in your hand. Another very important thing is the way you hold the mouse. There are three ways to hold a mouse and accordingly there are mouses of different shapes and sizes. There are also mice that are only for right-handed or left-handed people, but there are also universal ones. When choosing a mouse, consider whether you need a wireless mouse if you are sitting away from your computer, but keep in mind that the wireless mice are few milliseconds slower than wired ones. Another thing that may be important to gamers is the lack of acceleration. If you move the mouse to the side quickly and then return it slowly, it will not end in the same place. This is a thing gamers usually avoid because of muscle memory. The point is that the distance traveled by the mouse is always proportional to the distance traveled by the arrow on the screen. And for the very end, consider whether you need additional mouse buttons. Those are good for playing MMOs. If you enjoyed this video, Leave a like and don't forget to subscribe.